In this 30 minutes, we're going to show you how to live an inspired life through food and travel, give you tools to help you unlock and discover yourself, and to give you tools to connect again in a fun way with family and friends. This is the three secrets to the Mediterranean lifestyle, and you can do it from anywhere in the world. My name is Dario Tomazelli. Uh, I am a professional chef for the past uh, 40 plus year. That show you my young age. Uh, passionate about what I always, uh, I always done and I always believed. And I think it, the most important thing is that's what got me to rediscover myself and figure it out better based on my career, what I can do better to serve other people. So my name is Anita Heidema, the other half of oliveyourlife.org. The most Olive, important your part. Life. You've got on your shirt here. We gotta. Yeah, we'll there see. we go. All live your life. There we go. <laughs> proud, proud carrying over. <laughs> so my name is Anita Heidema. I'm a rich life strategist. I've had my business for 18 years, helping entrepreneurs really understand what a rich life is, what's true to their heart, and also understand what a rich business is and being successful. You know, I've been on a TV show co-hosting with Rogers called Positive Panel. Um, I've got my own podcast. I've written a book called Vitality Knox. Um, and I used to have a travel agency and combining your getaway to find your way destinations, which is really important to really help discover yourselves, discover yourself, which is a really important thing to do. Um, you know, and being part of the Mediterranean lifestyle is really a unique thing. And, you know, today's society, we've just gotten so busy. People have come up with ideas to make things simpler. People have come up with ideas to make things faster. And that's not necessarily no. the case. You know, those moments that you cook a meal together, those moments when you're just sitting around at a table enjoying, or those moments that you go out for a bike ride, some of those things are lost and we got to bring those things back again and those enjoyments in life that are Absolutely. so important for your health and your happiness. Which is important, which is very important. So uh, I'm, I wanna, I'm gonna go back to myself quickly and, and really explain you a little bit of my story. Um, yeah, I, you know, I've been a very successful chef for over 40 years. Um, I cook for Queen, for the Popes, for all the most important people around the world. You get all these accolades and your success, your travel, but you get lost into your career. Um, and I call it, uh, you found yourself, then you, you're living through the motions. Mm -hmm. um, you, for, you, you forgot yourself behind uh, your blind spot and and my life was pretty much falling into my career but not falling into my beliefs you know I was into a a, a very poor marriage uh, where um, I had two children and my priority was everything about my children but in reality was I doing any justice no I wasn't because again I was I was I was thinking I was doing the right thing uh, but like a, a, a very good person said, well, you don't like your life, change your life. You don't like what you do, well, change what you're doing. Because you really are not helping the people you are with. So what we did is, is really move on and really better myself. And by better myself, I rediscover myself. And I rediscover what is something that I always had from childhood. Living the Mediterranean lifestyle. <laughs> born which in Italy, is, yes. <laughs> which is which is quite amazing because I grew up uh, with my grandmother. With the principle that we are going to talk about it, the very basic the principle that I have lived all my life. And notice this: we are talking about lifestyle. We're not talking about diets because there is no such a thing. Okay, we are talking about a lifestyle. The way you are living the life, and the lifestyle you can live from anywhere. Not necessarily from the Mediterranean. So having start, having rediscover yourself, or so having given yourself a second chance, because everybody has a second chance in life, is the choice, or are you going to get it? How are you going to jump on it? Um, how are you going to smile, even in tougher situation? And it, how you are going to adjust? I mean, for myself, initially was, you know, I was coming to a new country, a new language a new culture altogether and adapting to all different techniques and lifestyles and food. And, and you know, that makes you stronger. 
that makes you learn a little bit more. That makes you a little bit more adventurous. And that's one of the most important thing that uh, we want to share with you. You're so sweet. You make me smile and make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for me, the biggest, I think, well, I had very uh, various transitions in my life, but one of the biggest was when I felt that I had worth to the job and position that I had. Yeah. I worked in the corporate world. Um, I was a director in North America and you know, I was moving up the corporate ladder and I was putting a lot into that. I was finding that um, it was making me happy. It was giving me identity. You know, I was earning a good wage yeah. and, you know, I was, you know, I, I went into the box seats for the, all the sports games. You know, I got to go on all the trips uh, for work, but I realized it was very lonely. And the moment came that they wanted me to go to California and I said no, that I realized I wasn't that important to the company and they pulled the rug from under me. And in that moment, it makes you realize that you need to have that foundation and that base on who you are to really, really understand so that I call it that oak tree. You know, when you're, you know, we're talking about the forest here, but that oak tree, when you're standing there and you're swaying, you want to be able to sway with life. You want to be able yeah. to get that wind that might push you down, but it won't really knock you down. Uh, yeah. It will give you those little um, little phrases and, and little sways, but it won't really knock you down. And that's what's so important. I based my life on my identity and in, in, in where I was. And from that, I was able to pull all the strengths that I had in being in travel, being I was trained for seven years as a coach um, and putting those together to build programs that were really important to me. Uh, my Harvard business that I had, I pulled it all together to come up with programs that were going to help entrepreneurs. And now, you know, creating this with Dario and uh, he can get into that in a few minutes, um, what we created together and why we started all of your life mm -hmm. um, together, because individually we each have our own uh, credentials and where we are, but why we felt it so important that we um, put this together with a live your life was uh, was quite something too. Well, let's start first of all on how we met. Okay, I think is an important part. So, and, and this one is it's there is always a story around it because it carries over to your to your true beliefs mm -hmm. because the most important thing in in about what we're going to present to you guys is really being true to yourself. You know, there is a big effort when you're trying to be something that you are not. And eventually that struggle, that effort you put in to do something, it, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't come natural. Well, me and Anita have been knowing each other for, uh, I would say now 25, 26 years, but we knew each other as friends. I mean, I remember the first time meeting Anita, um, taking my youngest son at that time to junior kindergarten. Anita was taking her son uh, to school uh, to many, many years ago. Our boys now are 20, 27 years old. And, and at that moment, you know, we were both living in a bubble. I call it in a, in a box. Good you know, and really trying to chase and figure things out and, and living to the day, living through the motion. Uh, but our responsibility to our kids. But what is the most important thing? In really, when you really think it, how well can you be helpful to your kids if you are not um, good and responsible to yourself? Um, so that's how we met. And, and you know, we kind of veer off. Obviously, Anita was married. I was married. And our life moved, moved on until... Many years ago, we reconnected again as a fluke. And this is what a second chance in life is all about. You know, people can call it karma. People call it whatever they wanted to call it. Um, I call it, you know, uh, I believe. I believe in, you know, if you are a person that has real good value, and Anita made a good point, it's values, you know. And your values don't have to be extreme. They have to be yours. Um, things happen. And they always do. And, and I got to be honest, I, I always look back on myself and I felt then I had everything professionally, but I had to give up on my personal life because it just didn't have it. And, and, if I, and I felt, and it's almost impossible to have that. But when I 
reconnected with Anita, I felt like my life all of a sudden was, was, was starting all over again. And starting from that, we, 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 we said, well, you know, there is something here that everybody out there or people that are out there, people, they're struggling in different ways, okay? Um, and people sometimes don't even know they're struggling. They just, like myself, they just live through the emotion. Um, they need to have that opportunity to have that, we call it the message in a bottle, <laughs> okay? We often said, you know, our relationship is magical, but because of what we are, uh, we, we, you know, we have our ups and downs like every normal couple, but we talk about it, we discuss it, uh, and, and we live through those principles. Um, we don't take each other for granted. And, and those little building blocks started what we are doing right now, or live your life, or live your life. I find also that um, we, were, we were, once we got together, we were coming apart as well. Of and course, that's yeah, one that. of the reasons um, once we met each other, we felt like we had a second chance and we know the difference and we know what it's like to be on our own yeah. and we know what it's like to be together and work on it. So we understand that concept, but we were finding even ourselves in our busy lives that we were coming apart. So um, when we had the opportunity and Daria was hired as a chef and a guest in a as a guest in a castle, um, you know, we noticed at that moment that we had something different that uh, yeah. we could put together for to help with what we have. So that's why we've come together with the principles and uh, we can get more into the story about us later. But I think it's important to understand the three secrets to the Mediterranean lifestyle that you can do from anywhere. And uh, we've got some tools and that available for you as well. So, that you so that's why we felt it really important to um, go over the, the secrets to the Mediterranean lifestyle that you could do from everywhere and anywhere around the world. You don't have to live in the Mediterranean. It's a lifestyle. Oh, it's, right. it's principles you can use anywhere around the world. As we talked about earlier on, um, you know, we are a live your life, a live your life.org. And we bring benefits to the Mediterranean lifestyle to people around the globe. And we found that that's very important. And you know what I have down there? It's not a diet. It's not, you know, and, and, and we consistently talk about that. And, and you will hear me, if you, if you follow us, then I consistently repeat it. <laughs> that is not a diet. Why? Because, you know, I go back, we go back to the, 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 my grandparents, you know, then they lived this life. And if you would ever ask my grandmother, grandma, what's on the diet today? That she said, diet? There is no such <laughs> thing as a diet. So it's not a diet. It's a way of living. So it's not a diet, the Mediterranean lifestyle. Like we said, these are three of the eight principles that are important with tools as well. So, you know, this is interesting to know that, did you know that this is from three, four years ago, actually now. Yeah. So at that time, 63% of North Americans were spending more on medicine than they were on food, which is absolutely ludicrous. And 87% are saying they're connecting less and less every year so can you imagine this is pre-covid so i can't even imagine and, and, and so how how what does he mean that because i mean everything has, has a really a purpose you know we understand and you know every time we have something we we found the solution with a medication and i mean and uh, by all means i'm not doctors and i don't expect to be a doctor but we sometimes in food and sometimes in the way we take care of our body there is a natural remedy mm -hmm. into medication, avoiding medication, and connection. Connection is a big part, right? Yeah. Connection is a big part. It's a huge part. Okay, so we're going to get into the first secret to the Mediterranean lifestyle, and that is to add to your life, add healthy foods <laughs> to your life. And here we have our pyramid that we've come up with that, you know, it's not about a lack, but it's no. about adding things to your life. So, you know, um, putting more fish into your life, adding more um, vegetables, more nuts, uh, those kind of things. And that's really, really important. We actually have here um, a download that you, is available for you to be able to put on the fridge or something that you want that's showing here, the hyperlink. If you wanted to put that, just to remind you, it's not limiting things, it's adding and finding delicious foods that are healthier for you. And, and again, when we are talking about it, you know, Anita was saying, it, and so people might ask, well, I, I do not eat fish. Well, that's okay. There is nothing wrong with that. There is 
different elements you can actually use into your diet, then you can control. It's not about the quantity, it's the quality, okay? But also, of course, the, quality, the quantity is important. I mean, don't, don't have a lack into anything, just control the amount of it. I mean, if you want to have, a, I'm saying, for example, right now, a fish, get acquainted with your fishmonger. <laughs> know what kind of fish you want to have. Experiment. Okay. And use it as a almost, I, won't, I don't want to use the word challenge, an inspiration point. Do not use this chart as a diet guide because it is not. We are not promoting that. We are basically talking then good quality product, yeah. as much as you want in balance, and you will be fine. Yeah. Usually it's, you know, before you, it takes 20 minutes to feel full. So you, ate, you know, eat um, to 80% full, but it's not a rule. It's a balanced way of living. Have that glass of wine. Don't measure out everything in your life. Um, it's about enjoying uh, those yeah. things and those flavors of life and those flavors of food. You know, some of the options that we talk about with balance, you know, one of the is to limit some of the beef and then add salmon, you know, not do as much butter, have olive oil uh white bread no enjoy the, the beautiful grains of delicious bread i mean we do a lot of the wonderful breads at home that we're really enjoying in our vegetable garden and we're really enjoying it you know those breakfast cereals they are laden with a lot of crap that's in it why not have whole fresh nuts and seeds that that are you know are very healthy for you and then instead of using a lot of salt just experiment with herbs and spices you know I know some of the recipes that we have online and are on our website you know Dario uses anchovies to give some seasoning you know fresh herbs and uh, over on our recipes that all live your life you know there's really different unique ways to be able to get flavors into your meals and also understand you know if if for example you know okay listen I don't like anchovies I don't like but I want a little bit of seasoning yeah you want to use salt then research a good quality salt. Don't use salt with high iodine. The little fine table salt that you see then is really not good for you. It's a research in you where to do. Invest into your body. That's pretty much what it is. You know, everything in proportion. It's an investment. Like, you know, we often say then people spend more time figuring out what kind of fuel to put into their car than the fuel to put into their body. That's, that's the most important thing that you have to really realize. In conjunction with that, make it something, make it a longevity experience. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. So then we get into the second secret. So we've talked about living a balanced life, having balance in your food, <clears throat> not avoiding things, but adding delicious <clears throat> flavors and foods to your life. And uh, for that, we've got a lot of recipes online that are available to you. And we've got something called the meal planner. So um, you can put items in there that you know. So when you go to the grocery store, pick up those fresh items, pick up those things that you have in your house that you know you're going to eat leave that fruit out on the counter um you know so that you will see it and you're more likely to eat it yeah. and um just look at the flavors of life and enjoy food again yeah. so number two we're talking about stress-free and this is a really important one because as the live people's lives and paces get busier and busier we're losing perspective on where things stand we're not doing favors to our bodies yeah. we're not sleeping well yeah. we are so wound up that we're not really um, coming in tune with ourselves and what we're wanting we go to the have to's you know those things that people are asking us to do as opposed to as dario calls it you know the joy the 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 peace the water the, those, simplicity. the simplicity in your life and meditation is one of those things that really brings you there um I have been doing it for years. I've got meditations online and down there is a link to a free five minute meditation that's available to you. But I wanted to speak to Dari on behalf of this because we live on the water and we will go down now to the beach and um, meditate down there. And, you know, at the beginning you weren't too um, open to it, but 
Tell us. Well, I mean, meditation, I mean, for me, was always is something that I go to sleep, and that's when I relax. <laughs> meditation is more than that. And, and, and obviously, I'm a very active person. And I remember the beginning when you know, you know, we were talking about meditation, she was explaining, because again, understanding, sometimes you need to be curious. And sometimes you need to have the sense of adventure. Understand what you, what you can control and figure out what you cannot control. You want to figure those things. And the meditation actually gives me an opportunity to actually reconnect with my body. It's like plugging yourself and actually allow yourself to detox. You know, during meditation, they say you actually exhale all the negativity that is into your system and you inhale all the, the good vibe that is around you. We are full around good vibe. And, uh, and we all, unfortunately, we always focus on all the negativity. Meditation allow you to really connect and ground yourself. And this one, a person I'm telling you right now is a person that never believed into that. <laughs> uh, I, I could not even think about spending five minutes there and kind of ground myself. Never mind, 50 minutes. But those 50 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever is going to be, allows you to um, reboot yourself. And I found myself sometimes in the morning, uh, you know, if I, if I take the train or, or go to work, I, I kind of put my headphone on and just connect and unplug myself. And I find that I have this boost of energy that gives me the opportunity to say, okay, I'm charged now. And, and that, is, that, is, that, is, that is valuable. Mm -hmm. uh, I can, if I can say one thing, you know, I can tell you everything about food. I can tell you, but meditation is it was such a new thing for me until Anita introduced me to it. That makes a very, very important principle. And I've taken the certifications that I have in hypnotherapy and applied it to the meditations that I have online, but this is the free one for you to try. Um, it's interesting <clears throat> when we were asked to be part of this summit and it was about forests, it really spoke to me um, because forests are really important to us. We yeah. live right next to the forest. We go into the forest, down to the water every day. Um, we take in the beauty. We take in the, the tranquility of it and the forest is really, really important. So uh, meditation is one option to get you stress-free. And I know for us, we really enjoy to, to get out there and to be part of the forest as well. And that's another option for you, for you to try. The third secret is, and is and I'm using Dario's word here, it's called conviviality. <laughs> and when Dario first brought it up, I had no idea what he was talking about because I wasn't brought up in North America learning Latin, but he was. And Dario, if you want to explain what conviviality is? I don't know if some of you know. I mean, for us, uh, I mean, in Europe, it's the convivial, you know, convivialita. Uh, and basically what it is, is really connect with people. And, and, you know, not just connecting because, okay, well, I have to see Johnny, I have to see Peter and Mary. Really, convivial, create that, your own flock of people that you really want to be part of it. Live it. Take part of a group that is your group, that you feel comfortable with, that you don't have to create an act to be. Um, and conviviality is about creating a convivial system, creating a system that everybody are part of it. The, there is no one that is filling out and there's no one that is above him than anybody else. Conviviality is, to me, is such an important thing because it's what it was brought up with. A conviviality for us, it was with a group of friends or at a dinner table. Um, it was about, forget about anything else. You talk about yourself about your day, about the great things. Uh, uh, talk about anything and anything. That is what you, again, is another energy plug, they call it, okay? Conviviality is everything. And like, as you see here on this chart, is us, you know, with uh, uh, 
a group of people during one of our international dinner club, you know? And what do you see there? Smiles. What do you see there? Happiness, hand gesture, movements, and, food. And good food. And good food, <laughs> and of course, some wine. Yeah, of course. But it's gesture. And you know, the motion is a gesture. People that know me know that I use my hand all the time and, I, and I, I'm fairly passionate of what I do. Conviviality allows to actually become more passionate. Allows you also to come out of your shell. Allows you also to be maybe less introvert, which is nothing wrong to be introvert by, by, any, by the way, but it gives you an opportunity to be more yourself. I thought that also, and even during COVID, we become so <clears throat> siloed and so siloed that we're forgetting what it's like to connect with others again. Yes. And when we do, you know, when the people are in International Dinner Club, when they start to get together or we get an email that says, you know, um, we cooked together tonight and we had so much fun with the family yes. or your spouse or we, we got together with some friends of the International Dinner Club. Um, whatever that is, you can see the smiles on their faces afterwards. Even during COVID, we had done a few um, online cooking classes and everyone sat together and we were connecting people all over the world. I mean, when we had people in um, North Connecticut, I think it was Florida, Paris, Australia, people from all over and we would do a cooking class and they would get together and they enjoyed it so much because people miss it. People are missing it. And now we're starting to get back to it. And, you know, you're forgetting what it's like and getting out of that cocoon that you've been so used to being part of. And the International Dinner Club is one of those ways to be able to do that, to get in the kitchen and cook together, um, get together again with your families um, at the dinner table. Those things are so important. And that's part of the Mediterranean lifestyle. When you think about those people that are living in those places that, that live a long time, it's because they're constantly getting up early, going to see, you know, Joe in, in the fields or going to see Sally for breakfast. You know, they'll, uh, they do all these different things where they always stay connected with other people. And we've got become so siloed in our homes and COVID is even made it worse. So I think now more than ever, you know, this is one of the big secrets um, to being connected and, and how important it is. So um, we're gonna talk about what we've created actually to help with that. And it helps with all three actually. The International Dinner Club, the Mediterranean uh, bundle that we call it, it keeps you and has you be convivial. You get together with friends, you invite friends to a dinner party that you have at your home, uh, maybe next week it's at somebody else's home or next month is going to be somewhere else or maybe you have a common area that you do it. But the most important thing is to get friends together, right? And that's the whole part of the International Dinner Club. Number two is enjoying a stress-free way of doing it. So to me, a stress-free way of doing it is the recipes that Dario has created, um, the juicing that I've created because you can pair juicing with it, the travel stories. So with the Mediterranean bundle, we have Italy, Spain, and France, and it has tips on the country. So, you know, if you're sitting there in a lull and not knowing what to talk about, ask some of the questions. Look at the video on the actual country to inspire you to go, or maybe it's going to bring you back to those moments when you had been there. Um, then you can try the meals together and the pairing that you've done. You can do it as each person creates a meal. It's a five course meal. So you can delegate, you know, one couple or one person does one dish, another dish, and then you bring it all that evening. The point is to have good food, which we talk about in number one, to be able to have stress-free. So we yeah. create the package for you and the enjoyment of cooking together and eating together is all that you've got going there. So the rest has all been put together in a nice, easy, stress-free way. And then you have the convivial part, which is number three of the, the three secrets. It's so important. And that is getting together, reaching out to those friends, calling them up, emailing them, just saying, this is what we're doing. We're doing an international dinner club. The Mediterranean bundle is three dinner parties and starting off with that, which is just so much fun. Think about simple things you can do to found yourself and to found people maybe that you haven't connected for a long time. And I'll tell you why all these things comes to me. You know, the first time I came to North America, I remember there was someone and we were at a, at a party 
And someone came to me and he says, Dario, you have a calendar with you. And I said, well, no, not really, but what is it for? And he said, well, we're gonna set up the next time we're gonna see each other. I said, calendar. I said, I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. And everybody was completely shocked because life was so planned and everything had to be just such. I said, you know, if you wanna come into my house and you see my car outside, just pop in. The International Dinner Club gives you that opportunity, maybe not to pop in like that, but to create that habit. Then you really connect once a month with your buddies, with your friends, with your girlfriends, or whomever it is, with your family. You can do it on with your kids. It's a fun event and gives you an opportunity to, first of all, take you out of your comfort zone, allow yourself to discover something new. And three, I appreciate something completely different than you probably were never used to. And that's okay. But what it gives you, it becomes, and, and, I'm, and I'm seeing it because we listen to some of our clients and have done that and they say, oh, I never thought I could ever do that because it doesn't become a chore. Because the way we design recipe or these type of events or this package, it's not a chore. Because as soon as you put chores into somebody's life, uh, people start pulling away and they say, you know what, I have enough chores in my day. I don't need another one on the weekend. This is not a chore. This is something funny, fun, convivial, happy. And funny too. And funny too, yes. <laughs> but it's convivial. Yeah. And, and, and it opens so many things. I mean, we have story of people then come to us and say, oh my God, I was so disconnected with my brothers and my sister for so long. And that brought us together. Yeah. Because we we found uh, a common thing together. And it doesn't matter how good of a cook. Because a lot of people ask and I say, well, I, I'm not really a good cook. Well, so what? Mm -hmm. I never spoke English. And I still don't. <laughs> but you practice. It is his worst thing. But you practice. And I think, you know, as you allow yourself to be yourself, things become much easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. allowing yourself to be yourself most of the time we disallow ourselves to be something that we are not sorry we allow ourselves to be somebody we are not <laughs> that makes more sense doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. but it's 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 fundamental it's really fundamental and you will find that it becomes so more natural you know many people many times you know when we ask people when we done the research because that was a research that we have done is you know, if you have a dinner party, you're stressed. Oh my God, I'm stressed. I got all these people coming over. I got to figure out the menu. I got to Google the recipe. I got to find this. And now I have to do the shopping list. Oh my God. By the time the event comes, you are not enjoying it. That becomes a chore. And does not become a convivial experience. And all those three steps that we just talked about, they're going right out of the window. That is important for, for you to really take a step back and say, you know what? We are going to enjoy it. We are really gonna connect and we're really gonna spend quality time together. Because at the end of the day, there is an old saying, in life, we are just passengers, <laughs> okay? So we better enjoy that ride. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's a fun night. People from all over the world have joined the International Dinner Club. They started with the Mediterranean Bundle, which is the, the Spain, and Italy, and France. And they've had so much fun for, you know, with it. They In the package, you have all the recipes. They actually tier from um, the recipes, so they change in size from two people to 20 people. So you know, some people have done it online to connect with people across the world, and then they just tear it down for the two of them for right. the recipe, and then they'll make it. Or you get together with a group and each person takes a recipe and it takes the load off as well because really at the end of the day, we don't need to have everything perfect. We don't have to have the house perfect, have everything all done perfect. It's just fun to get together and to have delicious chef created meals um, along the way. So, um, you know, we've had people from all over the world and actually we're traveling next week 
um, around the world to share the International Dinner Club to more people. So that's why we wanted to share it to you today and also offer you this special that we have on right now for 34% off the International Dinner Club. Um, for the France, Spain, and Italy package, uh, with this link that you'll see here, you'll be able to get, once you sign up to our newsletter um, that comes out bi-weekly, which will go into Anita and Dario's adventures. So as we're traveling the world for the year, you'll see um, a lot of what's going on there. But the most important thing is the International Dinner Club. And so you will download, you will uh, purchase with a 34% off link that you'll see there. Then we'll be sent to your membership site with all the details, all the recipes, all the links that you're going to need to create a phenomenal, convivial, healthy, well-balanced meals that are going to be fun and stress-free for you to enjoy with you and your friends. How important is that? Simple thing. Yeah. Nothing too complicated. It's not reinventing the wheel, but sometimes we do think we have to. It's just simplicity. So that's the three secrets to the Mediterranean lifestyle that you can do, as we mentioned, from anywhere in the world. You know, it's a perspective of me being able to go to the Mediterranean. Uh, we go every year and seeing it from a North American eyes <laughs> to really understand, you know, the way they live. Uh, the way they enjoy life. It's just so different. We'll get together with Dario's friends on a Tuesday night and dinner. I mean, work is the next day and everyone is out till midnight enjoying and having fun and not looking at their watch going, oh no, we have dinner tomorrow to do. We can't do our work tomorrow. We can't do a dinner. There's no way. There's a different way and a different mindset to the Mediterranean. Right. And that's what the lifestyle is about. It's not a diet. It's a balanced way of living. It's inspired living and enjoying again. So that's why we've created all types of tools. If you go over to oliveyourlife.org uh, for you that are available for free and this International Dinner Club um, opportunity with 34% off for you to try. And we hope you're going to enjoy. Absolutely. I mean, this is an opportunity for you to, to create your own beginning uh, or your follow through, whatever it is. We know it works. We know it's exciting. We know it's fun. We know it's adventurous. The only way you know is when you allow yourself to become one. So it is Anita and Dario with oliveyourlife.org. We're signing off and enjoy your day, everyone. Email us if you have any questions at info at passionistcooking.com. Bye-bye and all live your life. Ciao for now, everyone. Bye-bye.